Hi everyone, in today's video, I am gonna show you how to make these adorable gnome pencil toppers. They are super easy to make and require limited supplies and they make wonderful gifts as well as package decorations, stocking stuffers, you name it. You can decorate the hats however you like, in the color of your favorite sports teams, in the colors for autumn, in pastel, for Christmas. The options are limitless. So let's take a look at the supply. So you're going to need a piece of cardstock that is cut to a half an inch by four inches. That's going to be the brim of the hat. You're also going to need 38 inch pieces of yarn that is going to also be for the hat and I'll show you an easy way to cut out an eight inch strip of, of yarn. So I am now going to cut the beard yarn and we also need 38 inch strips for the beard yarn and I'm just going to wrap it around this little notebook that's four inches and I'm just going to cut at the end and then I have perfectly sized little eight inch strips of yarn. You'll also need a, bead, a wooden bead for the nose. This is about eight millimeters, if you can see right there. And then you're gonna need a tiny little rubber band. And then a little bit of stuffing for the hat and a glue gun, some scissors, and then also you're going to need some pencils. I ordered these Ticonderoga pencils from Amazon. I like them because they're plain and it matches the aesthetic of the pencils that I'm making. Let's get started making the gnome's hat. So I'm gonna take that strip of cardstock and I'm just gonna run my fingers up and down the strip just to soften the paper slightly to make it easier to turn into a circle. I'm gonna add a strip of glue along the edge and then attach the other edge right over it like that. And that is gonna give us the brim for the gnome's hat that we are then gonna go ahead and attach the yarn to, to make that cute little knit cap that the gnome is wearing. I'm gonna take my eight inch piece of yarn. I'm gonna bend it in half. I'm going to slip it through the center of the circle. And then I am going to take the two ends and pull them through the loop. And then I'm gonna pull it tight and we're gonna get a little knot right on the edge of the little piece of cardboard there. And you'll get that little bead, you see that? Okay, so let's try another one together. So take your piece of yarn, fold it in half, push it through the center of the cardboard ring, and then you're going to pull the two ends through the loop and then pull tight and then just push that um, little knot nice and close to the other one that you just made. And you're just gonna continue doing that until you reach the end. So I did a bunch off screen. It took about 10 minutes to do this step. And I'm just gonna add two more to finish up our cat using that same technique. I'm going to bend it in half, take the loop and pull it through the circle and then take the two little ends um, and then pull that through the loop and then pull tight and now our brim is complete. Now I'm going to take all those yarn and I'm just gonna push them up through the center of the hat. And this is going to help us to create the look of a hat brim. So that's why we take all those yarn and then just pull it um, right through the center of the cap. And I'm just gonna smooth that all out. I'm gonna take a little piece of polyfill. It's about the size of a half of a cotton ball and I'm just gonna stuff that in. That's gonna help me to shape the crown of the hat. And then I'm going to take um, one of the remaining pieces of yarn that I have and I'm going to set my hat in the center and then I'm just going to tie a knot where I look that it looks good to be the top of the hat. So that looks good to me. I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to turn it over and then tie a knot on the other side too just so that it has a little bit of extra reinforcement there. All the yarn that I'm using um, for this project is just leftover scrap yarn that I had from other projects, some of which I finished many years ago. So this is a great stash buster project. And now once I have that tied, I'm gonna cut off the little ends and now I'm gonna give um, our little beanie a haircut. So now we're making the pom-pom at the top of the hat. So you, I just place the um, hat in the crook of my hand and then just cut around being careful not to cut my skin. And then let's take a look at it and see how our little pom-pom looks. At this point, if you have any little stray pieces, you can just um, 
you know, cut them off one by one until you get the shape you like. But I think my shape looks pretty good. I don't think I need to do any more trimming here. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more polyfill and just loosely stuff the cap to the brim. And again, be careful to just make sure it's loosely stuffed. Now I'm going to take the beard yarn and I'm gonna cut it right down the center. So we started with eight inch strips of yarn for the beard and now we're just gonna cut them so they're all four inches. I'm just gonna lay that other stack right on top. I'm going to cut myself another little piece of yarn. This one is about maybe 10 inches um, just to make it comfortable for myself. And then I'm gonna place the stack of yarn um, right over that um, single piece of yarn and I'm going to tie it in the center. I'm gonna to try to hit it right dead in the center there, tie it very tightly, make a knot, and then I'm going to flip it over and knot the other side as well, just to make sure that this little stack of yarn is reinforced nicely. And this is what we are gonna to use to make the beard. And then once I finish up this knot and you get it looks like a little starburst, a little firework, um, that's what you're going for, maybe a little mom. Then we get to move on to my most favorite part of this project. This I think is what makes the project very addictive to me, this next step here. So I'm going to lay out my beard flat. I'm gonna take my pencil, break the eraser off of it, add a little um, pile of hot glue right in the center there, and then I'm gonna stick my pencil on top and then I'm going to just push all of the yarn down so that it looks like a little mop, right? And you wanna make sure that you get that little center knot right over um, the center of your pencil and that's gonna make the nicest looking beard. Then we're gonna take my little rubber band and I'm just going to um, secure the top of the little mop head and that's what you get. So we have our little beard that is done and it looks so cute to me. It was super easy to make. He is firmly attached to the pencil. And now we're gonna add the hat. So add another little pile of glue around this top of the um, little mop head. Attach your hat. I got a little bit of glue there, so I'm just gonna wipe it off quickly before it dries. And then there you have it. So we have our little gnome with his beard and his hat, and now we're gonna add the, no the um, nose. So just add a little dab of hot glue and then just press your little eight millimeter bead right in the center there so it's kind of underneath the brim sticking out of the hat and then we have our little gnome pencil um how cute is he so i'm taking a look now to decide if i need to do any more trimming of the beard with my scissors i don't think so i think that the beard came out pretty good um and I'm going to just go around the edges of the hat just to make sure it's firmly secured. So I put a little strip of glue and then I just press the hairs up into it. And that's just gonna make sure that um, he is, his hat is firmly adhered to his hair and to his beard. Um, you could even skip this step. I don't know that it's really necessary. I just did it just as a precaution to make sure um, the hat was firmly attached. I am gonna do just a little bit of trimming to the beard. I like it to look like, have a fan look to it, um, like a little V shape and he looks good to me. So here is our, our little gnome pencil topper. How adorable is he? So uh, this is an addictive project. I made about 12 of these in about two days. Um, I'm just showing you what this one I sharpened into a pencil and I actually used it and it's, um, really fun to write with a little gnome pencils, I must admit. And um, I made this one, a little Kansas City Chiefs fan. We have a Chicago Bears fan. And then we also have a Jets fan, if there are any of you out there. So um, have a great day, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful time making these little gnome pencil toppers. And be sure to check out some of the other gnome craft videos and also Christmas ornament videos that I have here on YouTube. Have a wonderful day.